Hey guys, it's Tanya Ravi Chandri once again, and today I'm just going to do a tutorial on how to enhance eyes and just add color and just etc. editing because this was a very highly, recommend, highly recommended to me video to do. So let me just first open Photoshop. I've already gotten this photo loaded. This was one, this is the photo I, this is the before of the photo I just posted. So the first thing I'm going to do for this photo is I'm going to crop it. This is only for photos if you're doing something like this. I just crop it to like something like Only if you're doing a photo like this, but not for all photos. If you're just enhancing eyes, don't do this. I'm just gonna click OK. The first thing you want to do when you're enhancing your face and the eyes is just sharpen the overall image. So I'm going to duplicate my background layer, Com clicking Command J on Mac. I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. I'm just you can really just mess around with it. it mess around with it. It depends on the photo. The radius de defines how. How much definition you'll have in the photo, how depth, how much depth, and amount is literally amount, how sharp you want it. So I'm just gonna bring my radius up a little bit more for eye photos. So yeah, that's just for overall sharpening. Next, we're just gonna enhance the eyes by sharpening them also separately, except we're gonna sharpen them so much it's gonna look kind of cool. So I'm gonna just duplicate the layer again. I'm gonna go to filter, sharpen, Unsharp mask. I'm just gonna raise this up so much. I'm gonna raise it up a lot. That looks good. It looks pretty awkward right now, but you'll see. So now we've over sharpened the eyes, but do not go overboard on the eyes too, because then it's gonna look so unreal. So then you have now this, and you're gonna add a layer mask. To access the layer mask, you have this little square icon down below. I'm gonna click it. We're going to grab our paintbrush tool, and since this, we're just applying it to the eyes, the sharpness, we're going to invert the layer mask. Two, there's a couple ways you can do it, but the easiest ways is either just fill it with black, or you can just change this to black, and you can click Option Delete. Or, wait, sorry. You can either do that, or you can just paint like this and just fix up, or you can just paint black right on the outside and just touch up the eye but that's way harder so I'm just gonna or you can click command I to invert the layer mask so now since I just inverted it I'm gonna go in onto the eyes and I'm just gonna grab my paintbrush and paint, since we're painting on a black layer mask we're gonna be using white so we're gonna switch it to white where you can simply change back and forth between black and white using the letter X so X X X so we're just gonna Paint right over the eye. There's some parts of the eye you don't want sharp though, so you just want to first paint over, and it's kind of fuzzy. So I'm gonna come in and just make random spots, not sharp. And I'm gonna touch right this. Do same thing to the other eye. Looks kind of weird, so we're just gonna add some weird spots to make it look unsharpened on a couple areas. So yeah, that's how I just sharpened the eyes. So there's already a pretty nice difference. Next, here's like everyone's favorite part, the eyebrows. So right now you want to you wanna almost overfill the eyebrows since we're adding a dramatic effect to the eyes. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold the top layer, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to go to the bottom layer. Now I'm going to duplicate all these layers using Command J on Mac. Now you have to duplicate, but do not unclick these layers. Now, you are going to hold control, or right for Mac, you're going to control click, or if you're on PC, you can just right click, and you're going to click merge layers. This literally just took the copy of all these three layers and made a new one and merged them together. The reason why we do this because, let's say I just duplicated this layer. You're not really working on it and just made it a bit sharper. So you don't want to do that. You want to work on a new, fresh layer. So right now you have this. We since we want to since we want to darken the eyebrows and add a more defined look, we're gonna grab our dodge tool, which is this burn tool. Sorry, excuse me. Using our burn tool right here. 
depending on your photo, you're going to mess with the exposure. So I'm going to just try out 20 for now and just going to go over the eyebrow. And if, if you don't know much about eyebrow shapes, but I know some a little bit, you can look it up and you can look up some eyebrow shapes. That girls too. So this, this eyebrow is a bit lighter because she has blonde eyebrows. So you're going to have to exaggerate a bit more on her eye. My, this girl's eye. Brow. I just kept going over. Now I'm going to raise my hardness because we're going in too harsh right now. And that's kind of bad. You really just need to mess around with this. I'm giving her a little bit of eyebrow. It looks kind of fake when you look at it, but in the actual photo, and you can just use the eraser to touch up some spots. In the actual photo, you'll see how big of a difference. So this looks kind of weird. So I'm gonna fix this up. Since I erased it, I'm doing the same thing I did. I merged the layers and then duplicate them. Keep messing around with it. It honestly, literally, it honestly just takes practice doing this. So this eyebrow is still kind of funky, but on the actual photo where I posted it, I spent a bit more time on the eyebrows. Next, we're going to do what we did over here, where we just, we're going to shift click, shift, shift click all the layers, and we're going to duplicate them, and then merge them. Now, we're going to grab our dodge tool to enhance the eyes and brighten them. The way we do that is that we just come over to our burn tool where they're going to right click or if you're on Mac, you can just hold it down and it'll come up and you're going to click dodge. For the dodge, it's a bit stronger. So we're going to lower the, I'm, I'm an, I usually like to paint with a lower exposure and just keep adding layers over layers, but you can just play around with it. So I'm just going to paint with 20 right now. I'm going to zoom in on the eye and you're only going to be painting, let me show you, using this. You're only going to be painting like this, this part right here okay so I'm gonna grab my dodge tool again I was just showing you I'm just gonna paint right over a couple times what I like to do is I like to keep count on how many times I went over it one two three four five six now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side one two three four five six and I'll just zoom out because you can never tell when you're close up. And I think we can go a bit brighter. And I'm just going to paint over. So that's It's pretty exaggerated right now. Don't worry. We will be rolling, roll, lowering the opacity later. Now we're going to keep working on the same layer and we're going to grab our burn tool. You're going to set your exposure a bit higher now. I'm going to go to 30. I'm going to zoom in and now instead of painting, instead of painting right here where we painted before, we are now going to paint right here like this, like that. So I'm going to grab my burn tool again and I'm just going to go like this. I kind of messed up right here. It's very much exaggerated. Now I'm just going to lower the opacities and touch up some areas. So I kind of like it. I, li I kind of like it pretty harsh on this side, but I don't like this side very much. I'm going to grab my eraser tool, paint with like a 540. I'm going to click right over it. That looks way better. Now, another thing when you're enhancing eyes, let's say you just had a simple photo of an eye and their cheek and an eyebrow and you've done all of this so far even though i don't like retouching faces a lot in photos i like to keep it natural you want if you if you want to really enhance the eye you want to retouch your photo so something i'm going to do for retouching my photo is i'm going to do the same thing i did over here shift click duplicate merge and then i'm going to duplicate it again now I'm going to hide this top layer and go down to the bottom layer. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. 
I'm gonna blur it until the skin looks pretty blurred. So I like it right there. Right now I'm teaching you what's called frequency separation. It's where it takes the texture from the image and puts it on a new layer so you can edit the textures there and the low frequency, which is just how, how the picture looks on the bottom layer. So I'm gonna, and now I'm gonna unhide this top layer. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna go to image, apply image, and I'm gonna go under layer and I'm gonna click layer zero, copy nine. That's the name of mine. Now, make sure you have preview on so you can see what you're doing. Make set the, I've already had this set up. So I'm gonna set the blending to subtract. Make sure your opacity is at 100. Make sure these are not checked. Scale is two and offsets 128. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna click okay now. I'm gonna go to change the blending modes. I'm gonna go from normal to linear light. Make sure it's always the linear light. Do not play around with it. I'm gonna go back to the bottom layer and I'm just gonna merge these two into a group where I go, I first click them using command and then I use command G to merge them. I'm gonna open the group so it just keeps it organized. I'm gonna grab, grab my lasso, lasso tool. And you wanna increase the feather, I would say, to, depending on the photo, if it's really close up, you can raise it a bit higher. But I think for this photo, it's like 40. And then I'm just going to select an area of the skin. So I'm going to select this area. Do not get into any black spots, otherwise it'll merge in. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to blur it till the skin looks nice. That looks good. I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm not going to put a bunch of effort into this right now. Oops, I messed up. Gonna keep doing it. It takes a little bit. I'm putting. I put. I'm putting less effort. I'm not adjusting the blur each time because I'm. I want to get this over with so I can teach you other stuff. So that's really messy right now, but it made some difference. Now I'm gonna merge these and make a duplicate and then merge them like I was always doing. Now I'm gonna filter, blur, surface blur, wherever it is, there it is. I'm just gonna play around it. I'm gonna keep the threshold low and I'm just gonna raise my radius till the skin looks nice and blurred. if it loads anytime now. <clears throat> My Photoshop is extremely slow, so. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab a layer mask, paint with, paint with use my paintbrush, I'm gonna invert it. How I taught you earlier, we either co click Command I or fill it with black. Raise my paintbrush, make sure I'm painting white, otherwise nothing will happen. Remember guys, if you paint with black, nothing will happen. Set your opacity to 100 and flow to 100. Now I'm just going to paint over some skin. Make sure to not get into little creases like this. You can go over the wrinkles though. Okay, it doesn't, oops, sorry. Okay, and I'm gonna just double click the layer mask, I'm gonna increase the feather, and then I'm just gonna lower the opacity. So far, this is what we have. Looks pretty nice with the eyes. Now we're gonna just edit lighting on how to enhance the eyes and just make them pop. So I'm gonna make a new adjustment layer so I'm gonna click this little circle with the half circle with it and I'm gonna click curves. I'm gonna increase my midtones which is this right here. This is my midtones, this is my sh this is my highlights and these are my shadows. I'm gonna increase my midtones. I'm gonna darken my shadows. Okay. One thing I noticed is that this girl's skin is a bit too orange. So I'm gonna grab my selective color it's kind of orange, I'm gonna stick with my yellows and I'm just gonna lower it to like a pink. I'm gonna brighten it. That looks way better. Next, to enhance it even more, I'm gonna grab another curves. I'm gonna grab the darkest, darkest 
shadows. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. I'm gonna grab the medium shadows, bring it down. I'm gonna grab my highlights. Now I'm gonna grab an exposure adjustment. I'm gonna increase the offset, increase the gamma correction. Now there's too many reds in the photo as we've added so much contrast. We're gonna click selective color. We're gonna access our reds. We're gonna lower the yellow. Now lower this, and then we're gonna brighten it. Now it looks pretty nice. We've enhanced the eyes and it looks pretty darn good. So this is, this is looking good pretty far, but we're gonna add some color to make the eyes pop. The thing I like to do, if we're messing with blue eyes, let's say I just had the blue eye photo, just her head. If I had blue eyes, I would kind of tint the photo to a bit of a purplish in the shadows and yellow in the highlights, but this girl has hazel eyes, so we would do the opposite. But since we, I have a photo of those two eyes together, I'm gonna just mess around with both. I'm gonna grab my curves, I'm gonna click RGB, I'm gonna change it to red. I'm gonna bring my reds down. This just adds some blues in the highlights. I'm gonna bring the reds up now in the kind of honest art, I'm gonna bring this down. So this just adds some yellows and greens all around overall image, but we're not done because we still want some blues and purples and oranges in the overall image. We're gonna click RGB, go to blues. I'm gonna bring my blues up this time. Now I'm gonna bring the medium highlights down and the highlights up. So, so far we have this with the colors. Before and after, this is what we've had so far with this photo in particular. Let's say you're editing a simple portrait, kind of like this photo, and this girl had, you can see her eyes pretty well and you wanted to do something really enhancement with the eyes. You can literally do the same thing I'm doing here with this type of portrait. This is just an overall tutorial on how to edit eyes, guys, also. After we've done color touching, depending on the photo, we're just gonna keep messing around with the lighting. Photoshop is just a learn and go experience. You just try something out. If it doesn't look good, you delete it. If it does look good, you keep it and keep adding new stuff after new stuff right on top of the photo. It's an experimental thing. Next thing I like to do, I like to use a gradient map. Since we're dealing with these colors of hazelish eyes and blue eyes, we're gonna add some blues and yellows. Since blue and hazel eyes, we're just kind of yellow. So I'm gonna click my gradient map. I'm gonna click this first color. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna click color. The thing is, with these yellows, it's so harsh. I like to keep little pastels. So I'm gonna grab this little thing right here and lower it. So look how past it looks less saturated. Now I'm gonna grab this white. I'm gonna change it to kind of a blue. So I'm gonna raise this a little bit. This looks kind of nice. Now I just change the blending modes and mess around with it. You can also click reverse and stuff. I like reverse, maybe. You honestly just play around with it. I like to use either darken or multiply. I think for this image, I will use multiply, but it's still extremely dark. So after I use multiply, I just raise my brightness. And I'm just going to lower the opacity of the gradient map. <clears throat> and now her skin looks yellow again. So you just keep messing around with it if you want to retouch your eyes. Because every eye is different. Click my yellow. I'm going to darken it this time. So yeah, we've gone from this to this in such a short time. I didn't put any effort. And... It's quite easy. You can do this for regular portraits. You just zoom in on the eye if you really want to enhance the eyes. And you can do the same thing. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo.